Hello, uh, I am November 6th with Skilly Mail Mike. My name is Bill, um, and I have a problem. My uh, Kenwood here, uh, I picked it up used, uh, has a broken SMA connector. Um, so I thought I'd just record me attempting to repair this, and um, hopefully it could help someone else out. Um, so let's get to it. Um, I'll have to open this up and uh, replace it. So I already have the replacement here. I ordered this from a Kenwood part dealer. Um, I have two parts here. We'll, we'll do a second video on this this other part. Um, so here's the uh, the replacement SMA. Where are we at? Um, let me see. There it is. And uh, yeah, with any luck, we'll have it there. So let's get going. We're going to do this together. Um, hopefully, hopefully I can figure it out. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Let's open up the battery. There it is. And uh, I think we need to take these off and maybe these too. Probably wondering how I did this. Um, I bought it used, and uh, first day I got it, I put it on my hip. And I walked out the door, um, and it instantly fell on the ground. <laughs> and when I picked it up, uh, the, the the connector was completely broken. So uh, that was fun. That was a good first day with this. But, um, at least I was able to to use a little bit on my bench before <laughs> before that. Um, okay, how do you get this off? Uh, let me take this rubber stuff off. Employment frame, frame, sorry. I'm new to this. The connector was a little weird, though. I got this from uh, someone who didn't quite know uh, a lot about radio, I think, and. Um, the connector did look a little odd, so a little suspicious. Somebody might have put a little epoxy on it. <laughs> we won't, we won't be uh, pointing at any fingers. Um, all right, get that little guy off. All right, let's see if I can pry this open. Ah, there we go. Ooh, I don't want to lose anything. There we go. Okay. And then what we have left is, oh, that's what's rattling around my, my direction button there. Let's put that, well, we'll deal with this later. Oops. Let's put this aside. All right. So, uh, still trying to get to this. Does this come off? Oh, I probably need to take these off. So it took about um, maybe about six to seven weeks to get these parts. Uh, I called them up and I was like, "Well, where's what's what's going on?" <laughs> and uh, turns out that uh, the other part, which I haven't really spoke much about yet, um, was on back order. So this would have gotten to me a lot sooner if I hadn't ordered that second part. So all right, so we got that off and. Pull the upper part off. Maybe. I don't want to break more than I already have. All right. So there it is. Um, see, there's two screws on it. I think this is the GPS. That's the main knob. So let's see if we can get this off a little further. All right. We don't lose those. Those are kind of small. <laughs> um, okay, so that must be for the ground. This little guy here. See that? And this is what popped off. Um, so you notice there's a difference here. 
uh, they got this little spring and the one I bought doesn't have the spring so probably part of what we're gonna have to do here is to get this spring transferred over um, okay looks like it's soldered on so uh, let's heat up the soldering and iron and we'll uh, see what we could do When I ordered this, they actually um, didn't give me an option for any other parts. So hopefully I'm able to transfer this piece over um, successfully. I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, hopefully we just heat that up and pull it right off without bending it. Because that is, that is a weird shape. So I feel like that might be easy to damage. Um, there are some flat sides here. You notice there's a flat side here and there. Um, so that might help us align things. Um, so I don't really have to worry about the orientation as much. So that will help. So let's, uh, let's see. Iron might be hot enough now. Maybe get a little solder. Okay, probably need some tweezers to pull that off once it warms up. A couple more tools. That should probably be good for now. Okay, let's uh let's heat this up and see if we can get it off in one piece. That was easy. <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> that came off pretty easily. Um, there is. It looks a little, a little different also. Some kind of spacer is on there as well. Let's see if we can get that off. Um, put it onto our replacement. It's probably important. I don't know what it does, but... <laughs> If the uh, old one had it, we should probably use it also. Um, so what is it? What is that? Just uh, focus. Looks like some kind of plastic spacer. Oh, I think it's just going to come up. It's a little gummy feeling um, to the touch. Maybe because my soldering iron heated it up. But um, I'm able to actually peel this off with just my, my, my fingers. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. So let's set the broken one aside. And we'll put the this little spacer thing on this one. Beautiful. Okay. I don't know what that's for, but... I'm sorry, I'm not in frame. I'm not sure what that's for, but I'm sure it's important. Reorient my helping hands a little. And we'll uh, attempt to solder this back on. So, um, you notice here's the piece. Oh, yeah. Come on. Here's the piece that we're going to solder back on. You notice how there's a little, little indentations there. They grab onto the sides that are flat. So, we're going to try to orient that properly. Um, let's see if we could do it. Kind of like. It doesn't take much heat at all to uh, to remove it, so I'm hoping. I don't want to put a lot of heat on it either, because uh, these these coax connectors melt very easily. Um, so we're gonna try to just tap this in, and hopefully it just slides right down. Sorry, I don't want to 
part took a while to get here, so I'm going <laughs> to take my time. Um, I'm trying not to hurt the coax connector. All right. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. I'm just going to heat this up and hopefully I don't need to get a clean soldering iron. All right, here we go. That might be too much solder, but um, I guess we'll find out. I'm not too happy with that soldering joint. It looks a little dry. It's a little shiny. I think that's going to be good. So uh, here's the finished product. We'll, we'll test it here. Um, that looks pretty good to me. So uh, let's put it kind of back together and we'll, um, we'll see what happens. So let me grab the radio. I might cut this part out if it works. <laughs> so if you don't see me again, uh, Thanks for watching, but well, let's put it back together together. Um, so this went, so I think this bit, if you look in there, I don't know if you could see in there, um, you can kind of see on the PCB there, there's a little metal pad on the bottom. So um, this piece actually presses against that. So we need to make sure we orient the right way. So this, this goes kind of, you see, it goes downwards to push on the, the board there, just the same way you got it out. And... Oh. Well, that doesn't want to go in. Oh, sorry, I should do this. <laughs> I should do this on, on camera. I'm not used to this whole YouTube thing, but I figure this video will hopefully help someone else out. Who does another similar silly mistake like me? Um, let's put these screws back in. Oh, again, I need to be back in frame. Sorry if this is boring. Okay, it's probably good enough for now. Let's just pop the battery in and see what happens. Um, I don't think we need all the extra frills. Okay. Nope, remember. All right, here we go. There we go, that looks great. Cool. Um, I'm going to use my old CB tester here. Um, After oh, there's the uh, the finished product. Put this back on here. Okay, that went on great. Oh, it actually went on there. Very cool. At least. And it will connect. I'll put that there. Let me get a dummy load. Put a dummy load on the uh, antenna side of my watt meter. Okay. And we'll 
put it on a 10, 10 watts scale. All right, so the expectation is um, we'll get something around the four to five watt range if if uh, this is, we'll get anything if this is connected correctly. So let's see. Hey, look at that. So we're getting one watt right now to a dummy load. Very cool. So the connector is working, um, but I still have low power output, which um, that's what this other part is for. So that will be <laughs> another video. Um, oh, you can't see it. This is a surface mount part that uh, I might have to replace. So I'll see you guys soon um, <laughs> for replacing this. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. And this is a November 6th Whiskey Lima Mike uh, Bill. And uh, see you later.